complete control. No shirt, no shoes, no dives. <laughs> All right. Learn it. Complete Control Radio, Joe Sim here with you. Recently, I had a chance to catch up with Dave King, lead vocalist for Flogging Molly. They've got a brand new record coming out this Tuesday. Name of the record is Float. I had a chance to catch up with Dave and talk about how important his mom and dad were both in his early musical influences, as well as what it was like growing up in Ireland and then coming over here to America. Check this out. Dave King, uh, we were talking about you growing up in Ireland. You mm -hmm. were telling a story about your mom. You're outside mm -hmm. playing football, and your I'm mom my, yells out, "What yeah. yells out, David? Come in, yeah." But I went in, and she was watching uh, David Bowie on uh, on uh, Top of the Pops doing Starman. So it was like it, the, the music it was never a barrier. You know what I mean? I was always encouraged to. And then, like f like Friday and Saturday nights before my dad died, um, they would always bring back people to the house, and they'd all sit around. And I was part of it. I mean, this is after the pub that night, but I was still a part of it. And I had my turn to sing, you know? Because that's all we had, you know, really, was, was that sort of entertainment. How does it feel to be back in Ireland writing, recording, and also mm -hmm. to come back to Ireland with this record? It was a great feeling. It was a 360 degree experience, you know? It was like, it's like the optimism that I felt from living in America, and especially in the early years when I moved over. Uh, going back to Ireland, lyrically, it sort of hit me on the head that I had, I've, I've been on a journey. So now I'm seeing things from a different angle. When I lived in America and I wrote, I wrote very romantically about the country that I left. Whether I be right or wrong, it, it's just that, it just what happened. I mean, when you're eight thousand miles away from home or wherever it is, it's, it, you know, and you're writing music and it, you, you, you tend to go back to, to the beginning. Yeah. And I'd never done that before, right? And that was a huge thing for me to actually go back. Music, like we were talking earlier about my mum and dad, like bringing all the people back to the pub. I actually went back to that stage in my life and started writing as if I was writing from there. And that's how I think the music has grown. One of the things about Flogging Molly that a lot of people don't know is Dave King used to be lead vocalist in the band Fastway. Fastway went out with bands like Iron Maiden, ACDC, and actually Dave King had a night with Angus Young where Angus Young gave him some great advice. Check this out. Because I never forget one night I was out with Angus Young and we were having a couple of drinks and stuff and uh, he was just saying to me, he says, you know, he says, it, it doesn't matter if you put the Rolling Stones up against us, we'll still go out there. And, and, and I, I, I didn't really know what he meant because I wasn't in the same situation as he was, you know. Um, and uh, I learned so much from playing with ACDC. I mean, uh, and they still are one of my favorite bands, you know. And so, but now what I've learned is that with Flog and Molly, it, 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 it's, I feel the same way as Angus does about ACDC. I feel as passionate about Flog and Molly as he, did, as he does about ACDC. And I really wouldn't care if we went on after the Rolling Stones or ACDC or, or, or you know, anybody that, you know, I've admired over the years because I know that what I'm doing in my life right now is what I'm meant to be doing and I'm very proud of it. Yeah. So uh, I wouldn't, you know, whether we, you know, it just, that's just the way. I think if you're in a band and you, you feel yourself in that situation, uh, whether you're successful or not, it uh, doesn't enter the equation. With this fourth album, um, I want to play the first track off of it right mm -hmm. now, um, Requiem for a Dying Song. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little about the song before we play it? Well, it, it, it's basically a song uh, about, as I said, well, moving back to Ireland, um, seeing the world in another perspective, you know, and um, America to me is, is, is one of the greatest countries that I've ever been in, and the people especially are incredible people, uh, very warm, loving people. I just find it hard sometimes with, you know, uh, the governments of certain countries, you know what I mean? And, 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 and uh, there's certain things I don't agree with. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just something that I feel like I need to get off my chest every now and then, you know? Because the one thing I have learned is that Ireland, when I left, was a country in, at war. And um, Ireland is, is now, you know, as regards sectarian and terrorist uh, movements is pretty much gone and to me I mean I really mean this if you can have that in Ireland you can have this anywhere in the world you know because I mean 
people hated each other so much, you know, and it was just from pure ignorance and, and pure lack of tolerance that, that, that this was happening. And now, thankfully, that's all changed. And I just think that, uh, you know, you don't want to see it happen. You see Iraq right now and the Middle East, Palestine and Israel. And you see these people fighting over, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of, of tradition there, you know. Which I, and Do I, you I feel think, a bit in common with when you see Yeah, you oh, see absolu that? absolutely. I mean, I, I get very upset at, 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 at like, like, the Iraq situation and the Palestinian situation, stuff like that, because it's... The, th the thing what makes the world grey is that we're all different, you know? We don't need to be the same, you know? That's what makes the world beautiful. So there you go, Dave King from Flogging Molly. Hey, if you want to check out their brand new record, Float, it is in stores everywhere this Tuesday. Also, if you want to check out that interview, you can go to our channel on YouTube, youtube.com. Type in Complete Control Radio. We've got some photos up there that have never been seen before around that interview you just heard. Right now, though, we'll jump into the song that Dave was talking about. This is Requiem for a Dying Song here on Complete Control Radio.